Hello and welcome. This is Petri and, uh, well, this is Let's Play Custom Robo Arena Part 16. In the last episode, we took uh, three tests and we uh, all got through them valiantly and now we have to beat Chris. So, it's a time battle. Are you ready? Yes. So, uh, let's beat the absolute living shit out of her. I won't go <laughs> like... Uh, I won't go like Duncan? He... Okay, sure. Weird way of saying that, because that was an illegal battle and all that, but I... Okay. If you don't want to be uh, a sensible man, that's fine. Uh, she smart at me. Okay, I got an actual pretty quick stand-up. You're just going to run, aren't you? Oh, no. That's a good knock-up. Come on! Stop running! <laughs> oh! Ah! That totally hit. Come on. Finally, I had a melee attack. Jesus fucking Christ! Okay, good. Well, got it in time limit easy, but uh, it was a bit of a scuffed match. Uh, got an S for time, so that's good. <laughs> You're not bad, Petri. What? Uh, that was a good battle. Petri, I can say for a fact that you're a good commander. In fact, you remind me a lot of young Eddie. I wonder if you'll be able to take the same path as he did. I'll let Stark know you passed. Fucking finally. You passed Chris's test. You cleared all three tests. Uh, yeah, I'm aware. To be fair, I wasn't aware there were three tests to begin with, but... Uh, uh. Tomato, tomato, right? Doesn't matter. Got them in the end, so... Now to ascend Mount Zephyr again. <laughs> My utter disgust will be known. Okay, go to the right. Take the second. Go up. Go to the left. Go up. <laughs> Pathing isn't that hard if you pay attention to it. Did you know that? And up we go. And there we are. Oh, Petri, you're back. So, how did it go? Hey, Petri. Oh, what took you so long? I drank so much tea, I feel like my brain's floating. Come closer. Uh, I guess I will. Excellent. You seem changed since you left the mountain. Bye. Though I don't know the exact task you were assigned. I am certain that all of them were crucial for custom robo battles. Anyway, since Petri passed the test, it's about time you teach him the soul boost. Not yet. Not yet? What else does he have to do? Petri already knows the answer to that. He must pass the final test. I battle with me. The final test. There will be no tricks or special rules. Just a conventional robo battle. You will show me that you've learned. Follow me. Man. A one-on-one -on -one battle with Stark. I hope that this doesn't turn into a total slaughter. For who? We made it this far. Now let's win this match and learn the soul boost. Yeah, sure. I'm pro up. Yeah, I was about to say, I already have the gauge. In the lower screen up there, you see the gauge flood. That's the soul boost, I'm pretty sure. So I already have it. Yes, I'm very ready. Show me what you've learned. Let's start. I'm pretty sure I can just, like, tap. Tap. Tap the soul boost there, and uh, I will just go... Uh, brrr. Ah uh, man, 
Worst landing possible. Oh. And let's all boost. Because I'm pretty sure that's what the game wants. Yeah, you're being smart. You're just going to hide. God damn. Stop running! <laughs> This is why I hate soul boost in this game, because it's so fucking useless. Because the AI just runs. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to do the same now. I mistimed it slightly, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Come on, buddy. Just give it up already. And there you go. Victory! CB! Zero combo! Jeez, I didn't even hit him with one combo. <laughs> oh, that's very bad. <sighs> Nicely done! That was a very fine battle! Good job, Petri. Now, will you show us the soaps? I already did it, you dumb hoe! <laughs> Haven't you noticed? You're already capable of using the soul boost. It's as your robo -ass answer to your soul scalling. What? Did you know this already, Petri? Yeah, I literally used it in the battle. You, you did? Why didn't you tell us? You could have saved us the trip up here. When your robo strength reaches its peak, you can activate your soul boost. You could do this by focusing your energy inward and tapping into your inner strength. You mean that literally, right? Your strength will build up over numerous battles, and once you activate it, it will release a much greater power. It, it's like you're invincible. It just doesn't seem fair. You'll not be invincible as the soul boost has one weakness. After you activate it, if the robo powers up briefly, if you win, the battle the power carries over. But if the robo reaches its power limit, it can overheat, just decreasing its power dramatically. But there is nothing to worry about. Its power only drops briefly and then it restores itself. So what we really need to watch out for is overheating, right? We can't let our opponents get us when we uh, a robo overheats. That's correct. Well, I've taught you everything you need to know, Petri. You are now one of my disciples. Remember, the voting uh, devotion is essential. Wow, Petri, you can now call yourself a student Stark. It's getting dark now. It's time you left. I will accompany you down the mountain. Oh, is that just a... Yay. Uh, do you think you could explain the soul boost to us? I didn't quite get all of it. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, but it's pretty complicated. So listen up. Here are the things you need to know about um, to pull up a soul boost. You need to gather energy. Energy is gathered in battle. So one um, uh, battle w won't fill up your gauge. When your gauge is full, tap the touch screen to activate the soul boost. Now, here's the important stuff. The soul boost only lasts for a short time. If you win while it's active, it'll continue on to the next battle. Once you lose it, your robo will temporarily become dirty. I wonder how long the dirt will last. Petri is gonna have to find that out for himself. Okay, let's say you used a soul boost on a dirty robo and it overheated. Would that make any difference? I guess, but what are you getting at? Uh, nothing, I was just asking. Uh, you don't clean your fucking hot glue, don't you? Anyway, you can recover even if you're overheated, so there are no risks. When you're stored up enough energy, it's best you use it. We don't really know how much trouble it'll be, but Liv is in a good mood. Yeah. Anyway, it's late, you wanna head home for the day? Yes, shut up already. Okay, let's go home then. Time for a fab meal again. Oh, Petri, you're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. La da 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 da. Turn off the fucking TV! You're cooking! I don't want burnt food, mom. Honey, we're home. What a day! Welcome home, you two. Have a seat. I was just about to put dinner on the table. Yeah, this is getting very repetitive, isn't it? Uh, did you uh, do something to your hair, Petri? You look different from this morning. 
Right about that, something is different. Yeah, I went up and down a mountain three times, went through the entire city for three uh, the blocks. The fuck do you mean? You look, players, with yourself as if you compl accomplished something. I think you're projecting, but that's fine. You seem very happy with your new look, dear. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, that meal was fab. I'm stuffed. Delicious, as always. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm going to get ready for bed. Don't stay up too late, Petri. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get up to your frogs, dumb. <laughs> well, let's catch some Z's. Mm, Z's. Delicious. And let's get into uh, uniform. And turn off the TV again. Oh, but first off, let's see. Oh, Christ! She devolved further. She's a scaly now. God damn it, Tama. Fuck. Don't go down this rabbit hole. Scary, scary woman. So anyway, where do my parents sleep? <laughs> By the way, Pedri, which do you like better? The trick flyer or the big boy? What does that mean? Okay, let's... Uh, I thought so. Big boy are very popular, but they have a strange charm that I like. I don't even know what you're talking about. Let's see, what do you say? How about the Gigantron? Gigantron, are you kidding that? Wow, you got the worst taste. I think that's the weirdest looking one out of all of them. Big boys. I had no idea there were so many custom robos. What kind of robo are you two working on now? It's very straightforward. It's basically a mass-produced version of what's battery using. It'll be a big hit for sure. At least I hope so. Well, hopefully you'll make a, a big profit off of it. I don't think they will. They're salaried workers. I don't think they get credited for their work and get royalties for that. But whatever. I hope so, but researchers have little to do with that. Yeah, that. Ha <laughs> ha, that's right. Ah, look at the time. Looks like we better go. Thanks for the breakfast, mom. Yeah, so that's just kind of an ass nine question. And so uh, you better get going on your way too, Petri. I'm pretty sure it's just an indicator that uh, in this from this day on I can that I can buy. Uh, I wanted to say Tim Pets, but uh, the bodies. Good morning, Petri. Morning, Petri. You look a little different today, Petri. Are you are you just saying that to get him psyched for the fight? Well, whatever works. Are you guys ready to go then? You probably already know this, but Bayside Academy is in the Harbor District. So, uh, we can't go to school because there's a tournament, I guess. Again. Look, there's Bayside Academy. Yeah, I'm aware I've been there. Help me! What was that? Let's go find out. What are you guys- Hey, it's them again! Well, isn't that just our luck? Uh, I think that's also the time we get our first illegal parts. Uh, they're here, just like our informant said. You're not getting away this time, you're going to the police squad. Teach this kid a lesson. Don't worry if you're using an illegal part, it won't even take much effort. Of course, Cleaver, I'll give them a good scare. I like this song. He got away! Dennis, go get him! What? Me? Yeah, you. Don't lose sight of him and be careful. Got it. I just expected the criminal to trip him up, just without a leg. Bonk. Let's get this commander first, Petri. I've already turned off the security lock, so you'll be able to... What the fuck? You got into my pockets, you crazy woman. Okay, fine, let's get to it. <laughs> Just so you know, I'm equipped with an illegal part. You do know the kind of damage illegal parts are capable of doing, right? And you're still willing to fight? Yeah. Well, not really, but I don't think I have a choice in the matter. Children shouldn't play with fire. With the worm gun. Ah, oh, Christ. Let's, uh. Ah, oh, there's another Neko. Another kitty catty. Oh. 
Oh, I like that. Oh dear. Ugh, I should not have done that. Okay, he's not moving that much, so he ain't that scary yet. That was a pretty good combo. Oh shit. I think I've hurt myself more than he did. Hadja, hadja, hadja. Yeah. They're just a little bit too far away for me to properly hit. Oh, Christ. Yeah, that, uh, that hurt. No! Uh, uh, uh. oh. Hiya! I want to finish you with my signature move. Oh, I was about to say, don't you get soul uh, gauge for this? But uh, yeah, you do. I got some BB. You stung like a BB. <laughs> How could a child be so powerful? You're not uh, used to having battles with illegal parts, are you? I've given you enough damage. Wait, <laughs> battery. Are you okay? Can you get up? I too much your mental trauma. You're not used to pedals using illegal parts. Oh. Oh. My past traumas. No. Not the broccoli. No. Not the belt. Are you sure you're okay? You still look a little dizzy. No, that's just my general state. I'm... That's just me. Sorry. Um, check up on him. It might be hard to run, but just follow me. Whatever. Dennis! Dennis, are you okay? Okay, this, him, that. What's the matter, kid? I thought we were gonna fight. No. Dennis, you dumb fuck. I was no match for him, Liv. But I did keep him from running. You did fine, Dennis. Are you alright? Are you hurt? You're not even a commander? What a waste of time. Huh? You want to fight me too, kid? Battery? Battery, don't. You're all exhausted from the last battle, and you're badly hurt. Must contact the police squad. He's going to get away. But Battery's in bad shape, so we can't do anything about it. Uh, fuck it, I'll fight him. Why are you running away? I'm, I'm not. I was just literally trying to pass you. So you want to go or what? Uh, you don't look too good. You still want to fight? Yeah, sure, bro. You don't have enough mental energy to fight right now. Says who? What decides the fact? Are you out of your mind? You want to fight even though you're this weakened? I think I understand, but we don't have time to talk about this right now. We have to move! I'll give you some of my strength. Wait, what? Here, relax and breathe deeply. What the fuck does that even mean? Oh, God. Oh, I don't like the look of this. <laughs> what is... Oh, no! Oh no! This is all cursed. Yay, I got some mental energy. Uh, energy move from Liv's head to Petra's body. Sure! Liv, how did you... You're a witch. Woo, let me catch my breath. I can dive, but my mental energy is very strong. Luckily, I also had the ability to share that strength with other people. Sure, bro. I had no idea that Lev had these kinds of powers. Yes, but Eddie always warned me not to use them. He said it was too dangerous. There's no time for that now. Hey, what was that? Did you, what did you just do to him? All right, Petri, you should be all better now. Yeah, sure. You should have stayed on the ground. Are you still gonna fight? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll finish you off! Oh, that, that was some cringe, yo. Suburban sun. Uh, I'm probably dirty, am I not? I am so dirty. My goodness, uh, even extra dirty. 
Oh, Christ. I'm so sorry. Let me get your boots, too. Oh, clean baby. Well, let's get into this, then. I keep forgetting that these battles start instantly, so I just want to uh, put in a direction. I hit myself with my own weapon. Oh, nice. Wait. But I thought I hit him. His stun gauge is higher, isn't it? Hiya! Oh, he had a rebirth very quick. Boink. Got hit by my own shit again. Oh, damn. Ouch. I'm getting pummeled. Stop hiding, you bitch. Okay, good. Didn't do it with my signature move, though. I am trash. God damn it. CB217. Uh, not too bad. Actually, it was pretty bad, but... How in the world did that kid get back? I bet that girl was somehow involved, too. Well, our plans failed, but at least we got some good info out of it. I gotta report this. It got away. He's fast. Well, he's jacked out of his fucking mind, so, yeah. That other command has passed out. Now's our chance to call the police squad. Get in deep trouble if they find out we fought outside a whole theme. I know, let's contact Duncan. Good idea. We also have to get to uh, Bayside. Well, we're late. Oh no, you're right. I'll head over there and buy us some time. Petri, meet me there as soon as you can. Sure. I'll go with you too, Liv. Uh, hey, Petri, why don't you get her ready while we buy us some time? Once the match starts, we won't be able to go outside. All right, buddy, Opal. Uh, didn't want to go in there. I want to check if the part shop is actually available. Nope. Then I don't care. Uh, that's Chubbs. Oh, Petri, you're here! Mr. Stubbs helped us out by extending the time of the match. I ended class early just so I could get in here to find us a spot. Thought that maybe you'd already arrived since you left before I did. But you hadn't showed up and uh, those three from base I didn't look happy. So where are the stupid, I mean, super Novas? Them? Oh, they're still waiting in the courtyard. Let's get moving. Sorry we're late. What the heck took you so long? And if you think you can win by getting a rise out of this, you're wrong! <laughs> Looks like you're already taking the bait, Lunax. So, Petri! What took you so long, huh? You ready? Uh, yeah, sure. Huh, Liv probably just forgot to set her alarm clock. Anyway, let's hurry up. I did too set my alarm clock. Hmm? Hey, Derek, where did Solex go? Uh, probably sleeping somewhere, as usual. Solex! Where are you? Uh, I'm here. I was taking a nap on the bench over there. Are we finally going to start? You're like... Flat soda, no sparkle at all! Say, Lunex, do you know that all three of us can't fight, right? You think I didn't know that? I do my research! I bet Bradley thinks he can beat all of us! We'll show him! So who's going to go first? Well, I'm the leader of this team. You guys decide who goes first. What? You want to fight him the most. You should go first. I don't care as long as I don't have to go first. 
first guy to fight is usually the weakest. Anyone can tell I'm the boss just by looking at me. <laughs> looks like the idiots are fighting. Why bother? Hey, I heard that! Uh, looks like you're the one who wanted to fight him the most. Admit it! Yeah, I really should be the leader. How many times do I have to say it? I'm the boss here! You should have decided who was gonna fight before you got here. You guys really are stupid. Uh, don't you say it! She's getting us nowhere. Better you choose who you want to fight first. Uh. Okay, Petri, listen up. Each of us has Holocene with a different team. Uh, I got it this much. My team is fire. My team is grass. Oh, Shadow, sure. And my team is water. Okay. <laughs> Who do you want to start off with? We'll let you choose your opponents. Derek Solix, now you're both set a fight. Don't complain if you end up going first. I wouldn't dream of it. Of course. Okay, guess we kept you uh, long enough, Battery. Pick your commander. No, because I'll end this episode right here. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Custom Robo Arena. Uh, I've been Petri, and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next part. Have a nice day, bye, and as always, seize the day!